Hello everyone, I'm Mike, programmer at Whatnot and Pixitar Games, and I noticed with the trailer that we pushed out for the update 0.12.0.0 that we kind of glossed over an important feature that is item drag slot snapping. Now, I have worked on this feature for the last month or so, and please ignore the gingerbread man, he's a bit nervous. Um, yeah, I noticed that we kind of glossed over the features and how you can use it, so I just figured I'd make a little video and demonstrate why it's useful. So let's just navigate to the building panels because all these building panels come with this new feature, including uh, also including canvas items and some other items. But yeah, let me just go to fast edit mode. I'll just place down this one item. Whoops, I already have enabled. Fast start. <laughs> uh, yeah, so this is the old situation. I can just place down this panel, no biggie, and I want to attach a little panel to it. Now, this is just happening by eye. So this this alignment over here is not it's not, not actually did a pretty good job there. But what happens is if you build a large structure and like make a wall this direction and then you extend the wall in this direction and extend it again and then come back around uh, over here, you will notice that there's going to be a big gap between the walls because it's not very precise to just align it by eye. So an alternative to this is to use grid snapping. Grid snapping is just where you uh, press E and you have this grid enabled and you can customize the size but it, customize the size by just pressing the F and G keys. So right now, 50, the size of 50 um, units, 50 centimeters size, is pretty useful for panels just by aligning them like this. But what if you want to uh, build at a corner, uh, sorry, at an angle, because you see these panels are not uh, parallel to these panels. So if I want to attach something like this, it, it's, it's not possible because it's not on this grid that extends in this direction. So that's where um, drag slot snapping comes in use. So we just press E again, and now you see all of these additional controls. So drag slots are, in essence, little spheres, li little invisible spheres that you can attach an item to, and they will just align itself perfectly, collinear and whatnot, to the other item that is involved. And this is pretty useful because now you can actually just uh, do the thing I said before, we could just build walls this direction, then come around, then come around again, and come back here, and it will align itself perfectly because it's just pre as precise as it can be. Now, if you want to be, uh, if you're not sure where the slots are, you can just hit the O key and it will visualize all the slots that are available on the items, including the ones that you drag over, assuming that they are actually fitted with drag slots. And if you're not, if you think the slots are a little too, uh, too little or too small, too big, you can just enlarge them and just make them smaller again by just hitting the F and the G keys, similar to grid snapping. And yeah, so these visualizers are just for like trying to get uh, acquainted with these uh, drag slots. So if you w once you get the hang of it, you can just hit O again and just forget that these visualizers are there because then you can just do it by eye and just memorize the slots that are available. But another pretty useful thing that's available with drag slots is aligning the item on certain uh, drag slots, as you can see here. So I can just go back to the beginning, right? So we have some slots on the sides and I can actually rotate around the slots that's there. So I can just visualize them again and you can see that they are there. This size doesn't really matter in this case, but you can just go around and you can hold the key if you quickly want to navigate. And now it's lying flat down on the ground. That's also pretty useful. And like I said, it's at an angle. So if I want to just um, attach an item there, um, you can just do it like this. And remember, if I just place down this item right here, and I can just uh, go to this slot, somewhere like this, and I place down a new item, it's going to memorize the slot. So that's easy for just quickly building stuff, but in this case, if it's just a floor plan like I was imagining here, I can just uh, go back to the original slot and quickly construct this little plane of panels, of walls, whatever you want to call it. So yeah, um, that's just these building block panels, but you also have like the canvas primitives, like the cube has it, and then you can put the wedge on top of there, also has drag slots on there. Whoops, that's not oriented right, but that doesn't matter because you can just continue going. You see, it just aligns like that. Let me just disable the visualizers. No visualizers. Whoops, I don't want that. So yeah, uh, let's see, you can also just align this <laughs> the cylinder on top of that and make a little modern piece of artwork here. And yeah, you can just do whatever you want. You can just actually align it onto surfaces now. Um, 
Yeah, so in the trailer that we posted, uh, we made a time lapse of me and a colleague, Maddie, just building this whole structure from just drag not snapping. You can just, uh, like like I said, we made this sort of floor plan. Then we started constructing the walls on the sides by just aligning them onto those slots. Then we made the front, and then we aligned the panels onto the sideways. And then we also, then I also ran into a little issue with, um, for example, if I just stash this, that's gone. Let me just try to align that again. And I can't get it to align on there. Why is that? Well, if I just visualize them, you can see that there's a bunch of overlapping drag slots and it doesn't really know that you want the other one that's buried in, buried in there to be used. So I can just hit the F key a couple of times until it gets small enough so I can actually see where I align, want to align it to and bada bing, there it is. So yeah, that's uh, all the uses you can have. So you can also see this frontage is just meticulously aligned by just uh, attaching it to little slots here and there, like you have all these little points that you can attach it to. Hell, you can even do this. Don't know why you would want to do that, but you can. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the only usefulness in the, um, the drag salt snapping update. So use it to your advantage. It's very useful. You can actually build ridiculous things. Like, for example, if I just want to do, if I want to go completely wild, so let's say, say 60 degrees, 20, I have this weirdly oriented panel and now I can just keep building on from there. So I just uh, oh, enlarge these slots again because I forgot to do that. Get rid of the visualizers and yeah, I can just build this whole plane. And yeah, if you wanted, you can just rebuild this entire barn, but like floating at an angle like this. So <laughs> if you want to do that, go right and do that. I would actually like to see screenshots of this if people do this. So yeah. Um, like I said, use this to your advantage and advantage, <laughs> and yeah, and like like we said during the trailer, have fun. Oh my god, why did you do? That? <laughs> yeah, have fun with uh, drag snapping and whatever else that the update brings.